There are many areas of physics, and indeed quantum physics, which can often leave one rather perplexed. Quarks, for example, the tiny elementary particles of matter, smashing into and destroying one another, instantly creating a new and sometimes entirely different pair of oppositely charged particles of matter. These strange things being what makes up the inside of a proton, an atomic nuclei, which, along with the electron, spins around the nucleus of the atom at tremendous speed, resonating at the frequency which makes up our reality and the solid objects we see all around us. These areas of physics, as mentioned, can leave one quite baffled when investigated too deeply in one sitting. Yet, such areas of science can also undoubtedly lead you to some rather wild conclusions, one of which involving our very own sun and a conspiracy regarding what could be powering it. It is the thing which allows us to see all the beautiful and the not-so-beautiful things within reality, worshipped since the birth of civilization. Yet, advances in technology have just added to our understanding of its complexity. The discovery of photons, charged particles which bounce off of the objects all around us, creating an instant interference pattern, or rather the absence of photons in the form of a shadow. This not only demonstrates that photons work just like electricity, but science has long confirmed that these particles emitted by the sun are indeed electrically charged particles. This fact of reality has now led some to take what others have asserted is a leap of faith, with many now having parted ways on their conclusions. The electric sun hypothesis. The hypothesis, supported by several rather strong scientific points, yet explained problems and or anomalies in current understandings, claims that the sun is in fact electrically powered, rather than the traditionally claimed process of fusion. It is a theory that has garnered quite a number of followers over the years, from various scientific fields, many with prestige. They have either claimed to believe this is the case, or that the theory could indeed one day be found to be true. Although, as always, it is those who passionately dismiss such claims, and their motives for doing so, so adamantly, that we find the most intriguing regarding such posits. Why do so many unexplained anomalies support the claimed hypothesis? Why do some so passionately object to it being studied within a field looking for definitive truths? We find the hypothesis, and indeed the controversy surrounding it, highly compelling.